गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम श्रवण कुमार फ्रॉम डेल्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज न्यू डेली वेलकम ऑल टू दिस वेबिनार सेशन ऑन सर्किट सिमुलेशन एंड पी सी बी डिजाइनिंग यूजिंग टारगेट थ्री थाउजेंड वन सॉफ्टवेयर डेल्स सॉफ्ट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर सोल्यूशन प्रोवाइडर इन एजुकेशन स्पेशली इन टेक्निकल एंड रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर वेरियस टेक्नोलॉजीज इन डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट लाइक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इलेक्ट्रिकल computer science mechanical and civil so we try to conduct these kind of online sessions to give update to faculties and researchers of various institute about latest technologies and softwares today we are conducting webinar session on circuit simulation and pcb designing using target 3001 software so first of all we will have an introduction to target 3001 software for circuit simulation pcb designing analysis you can see in the uh, slide then we will design an analog circuit and see full functionality of the software then a digital design example its input modification output and its result analysis so your mics are muted so if you have any query you can uh, ask in the text box given in your panel we will answer after the presentation so target 3001 is a spice based circuit simulation and integrated pcb design software used in various industries and technical institutes for pcb manufacturing and lab curriculum so this is environment introduction of target 3001 where you will find this menu bar in which various options are available first needed option to create new circuit component browser it is there to import components then for conversion of schematic to pcb can be done through this pcb view this is your component database tab then some common options available in most of the menu bars of the software like create new project open existing project open demo project save project zoom copy paste etc now working of these kind of software it is divided into three parts uh, first is a schematic where we can import components from libraries and create circuits then set the parameters of components and simulate it second one is simulation where we will simulate our circuit and analyze the result then third one is layout where we convert our schematic diagram to pcb layout or we can make layout directly apart from this uh, target 3001 has another part of manufacturing where it has compatibility to generate file formats of various cam or cnc machines to make pcb through those machines directly or also it generates gerber data or ger file to make the pcb manually through the setups of machines we usually have in our labs now schematic design the schematic design is nothing but a, a sketch of an electrical logic containing electrical connections between component symbols with the use of signal wires you can see in the screenshot an example of a schematic mode in target 3001 uh, using components from the libraries and signal wires target 3000 has 36 uh, 30000 plus components libraries right now which can be updated online as they get updated in the server so these component get updated in a month in the server in target 3001 in germany so whenever you are connected through internet you can update it from the option provided in the component database Uh, it has component management and creation system 
where you can create your own components by using sample templates provided or you can create your own component by giving some proper parameters and spice codes. Uh, now simulation uh, is of two types one is analog and other is digital also mixed mode simulation that is combination of both analog and digital simulation now analysis ha is having dc sweep ac sweep and transient and probes are there for getting the values of voltage and current at a particular voltage at signals here in the screenshot you can see virtual oscilloscope is provided for graphical view and analysis then graph calculator is there to calculate various other values of signals like log exponential derivative integral rms etc now auto placer uh, is an integrated application which acts just before the conversion of schematic to pcb which places the components onto the pcb in a optimized spaces as we know when we create circuit in a schematic it's just a rough sketch of a circuit but if we are going to create it into pcb that has to be in a optimized space that's why this tool is integrated into target 3001 to give you a most optimized pcb in the screenshot you can see some of the options are given there so you can choose those options and start and it will auto place the components onto the pcb now as the auto placer optimizes the components auto router optimizes the signals in a pcb layout Uh, there are three types of auto router hybrid counter and external auto router that is electra so you can uh, use any of the three available auto routers according to complexity of your circuit it has some variable option that you can change like signal length drill hole diameters algorithm and route layers so when you uh, go to the outer router these options will be provided uh, this is the pcb made after converting it uh, from schematic to layout it has auto place components and auto routed signals in it so up to 100 layers you can make pcb and dot tree uh, t3001 file extension is made after the circuit is created and it is widely accepted to make pcbs Uh, this is 3d view of a pcb made after layout is completed it will give you a look of your pcb made in real time it has some features of customized view of pcb signals layers and package which is given to analyze the circuit before pcb layout has been made so this is a small circuit uh, you can see in leds and package is given there signals layers and pcb so if there is a larger circuit you can enable or disable this package and see one by one where your packet package is located so just to identify the position of your uh, components you can use this tool now emc analysis or electromagnetic check analysis can be done after the pcb layout is generated where we can see electric and magnetic field intensity in a circuit having different parameters like radiation coupling galvanic coupling track length inductive coupling 
and coupling factor so that is another option you can get after the pcb after the pcb layout we can generate front panel layout of any circuit by clicking on a single tab and setting some of the parameters given according to your requirement so that is also very easy uh, here are some benefits of the target uh, 3000 software so it has one project file for all the data like it has only one extension file that is .t3001 for schematic simulation and layout it need not create multiple file for uh, different data sql component database is there for easier component search from library and it has a user friendly licensing policy having no hardware locks no activation codes no not locking and upgrades are online no hassle for requesting your vendor for upgrades so this is a small brief about the target 3001 software now we can uh, go to the software part and see how we can work on it so this is your first window after opening the software on uh, this is the environment of the software and uh, this is environment Uh, menu bar where i uh, what i have shown you in the presentation so first uh, it is component browser that is import component so because uh, for creating any circuit first thing you need is the components so when you click on this import component you will see this uh, component database window here you can see on the left panel that all the components are located according to their name as their name we know like uh, register capacitor diodes filters inductors microcontroller microprocessor op amps opto electronic devices sensors switches thyristor transistor all the devices are there so uh, if you click on any devices it will give you its schematic view its package view and the 3d view for every component you will get this and it has also uh, or of two types den package and ieee package ieee is a standard package that uh, we will usually study in the books this is the normal uh, uh, presentation of any component in ieee standard so this is a schematic view package view and 3d view and in this window you will get the information of the devices like manufacturer who is the manufacturer its package type is register value description of the component also the data sheet is available because it is an industrial software so uh, you can directly go to the shop where you can find it you can on purchase it online here only uh, so if you click on any of the component like i have click on capacitor if you click on capacitor it will give you first this component then you can categorize this like if you want to uh, see bipolar capacitor electrolytic filters trimmer all the capacitors are there apart from this uh, you have one advanced search for parameters like if you want to search any uh, capacitor or any other component so every component has uh, their specific uh, specification so like capacitor has capacity so you can search according to its capacity its nominal voltage its technology its tolerance or you can search any keyword its manufacturer distributor its simulation model 
थ्री डी मॉडल एस एम डी पैकेज टाइप पैकेज यूजर डिफाइंड प्रॉपर्टी सो दीज आर पैरामीट्रिकल सर्च गिवन फॉर एनी कंपोनेंट so if you want to import any component you can click and import the component is attached with your mouse you can place it here in the workspace uh if you want to rotate it in the attach mode only you have to right click and you can rotate the component okay you can select and delete it so this is uh, the process of uh, searching any component and there is another uh, procedure to search any component to write its name like if you select on diode it will give you all the diodes provided in the library you can see if you click on any diode will give you its schematic view its package view and 3d view and its details technical details uh, as i have told you in the presentation that uh, we can update our components online so uh, right now whatever components you have in a uh, monthly or weekly time the components get updated in the server so here is the update option in the component database you can click on update and uh, by connecting uh, your system to the internet and the components will get updated in your system also the software update is uh, online if you are using the older version so when you close the software it will show you that you are using an older version of your software so please update it you can you can just click on and update so there is a very hassle free updates of software and components here all the open components are uh, located here you can click and reuse it so this is the overall component database now there is another way of searching the components that uh, these are some categorized view of the component like this is sources ground and connector transformer then register capacitor inductor diodes so all the components are given in categorized form so if you want to see only sources so you just have to click on sources and you will see all the sources are listed here constant exponential fm pulse pulse width sinus so all the components are located here likewise if you click on register you will get the registers only okay you will see the registers only so this is the way of searching the component uh, now i will uh, make a small circuit just to show you the flow of the software how we can work on it so let's say we uh, have one component v sine wave then we will have an diode then we will have an register
so uh, for simulating and seeing the result we can directly connect these components and see the result but as we have to uh, see the layout of the circuit here you can see the voltage source is there and as you know the voltage source is any circuit is external so we have to connect the voltage source externally so when you convert it uh, this circuit to the layout that will not show you the uh, this voltage source so that is why to place this voltage source in the circuit we have to connect one two pin connector this is one cross two socket that we have to connect here now for connecting this circuit we have a place wire here we can see the uh, all the component is having a cross wire across the end of their components so when we take the uh, place wire button to this cross wires it will get converted to a box just like this so if we click on this cross wire a wire is attached with this okay so we have to just place it where we have to connect so we are connecting this source to the whole circuit via this two pin connector so we will connect this two pin connector further in the diode then the diode is further connected to resistor now we have connected the circuit one thing uh, here we have to connect that is uh, reference symbol or ground so ground is connected now we have to set the parameters so as i have told you uh, the whole working is divided into three or four parts so first part is schematic that is we have to design the circuit so we have designed it now uh, we have to give the parameters to it so voltage source is having uh, no value right now so you can see uh, this plus sign or across across all the nodes so this is just to uh, show you the parameters of the circuit uh, this uh, components so when we click on this cross wire we can see the property of this node so value is there you can put like 12 volt by default is volt so we need not write the v or voltage here then in simulation values and add it we can set the frequency of the voltage source and other parameters its magnitude phase so all these parameters are shown in a graph format here also for proper understanding of the parameter so right now we are uh, running on default the diode properties also have to be set on default then resistor let's say 400 ohm click okay 
now we have set the properties we can change one more thing here uh, we can uh, rename this signals just to identify them where we are getting the output or input so this is uh, the output so we will rename it as out and this is your input so we will rename it as in click ok now our first part that is schematic is over we have designed the circuit we have given the parameters all the things in schematic is over now we have to go to the simulation to see the result how the circuit is working for this uh, we have to go to this tab and select start the simulation of the schematic now simulation assistant is started here we have to set the simulation timing also uh, by default it is transient analysis so there are extended setting for transient analysis if you open it you can see simulation parameters simulation end timing save at time step at t0 maximum step and all the parameters are explained in the graph format or text format in every window so you can study so click on ok apart from this transient analysis we can go to the extended and commands and add some more analysis like AC analysis, DC analysis then probes are there to see the voltage and current value across any point so first of all we will simulate this transit analysis only so when you start the simulation you will get this oscilloscope window and you can see the result so here uh, signals are overlapping so there is an option of graph calculator where you can see the signals one by one first is v in v out and i sim that is current v in is your input v out uh, v out is your output so when you click on show none and click on v in that is your input voltage and v out is your output voltage so you can compare between input and output where is rectified output is coming also you can see the output voltage in a single window then there is a current value you can compare between these two or input so for multiple signals you can very, uh, see it one by one so apart from this analysis you have one option of editor for analog graphs so you can see these values like logarithmic exponential log db derivative integral minimum maximum rms so there are different values you can calculate for these signals you are having in this circuit so if you want to select rms value of v in signal you can calculate that is 8.4847 and if you want to see the graph of this value you can see the rms value graph so this is your rms value graph you can change the color pen type pen width all the editable functions are there so likewise you can calculate these functions okay 
now i have told you in the extended function we have a probes options so probes are used to see the signals uh, value at a particular point so there are one option given select particular voltage and current so if you click on this option you can add voltage against ground voltage against voltage current and digital values let's say we select voltage against ground so a voltmeter is connected with your mouse so if you click on this option v out signal v out is added like if you have a multiple of uh, circuit and if you want to select only output you want to see only output so we just added v out now if you simulate it you will find in a graph graph calculator that your v out signal is there only so the probe is to identify your signals among various signals available in the circuit so this is about simulation the second part of our working that is schematic and simulation is over now uh, we will see the layout of the circuit for this uh, we have go to pcb view so directly clicking on this we can convert this circuit to the pcb so when you click on this first you will get the pcb outline wizard where you have to set the width and height of the pcb or you can directly complete pcb outline that will that will show you an auto placer window this auto placer i have shown you in the presentation that it optimizes your component to the pcb in optimized space so there are options available like inside the pcb outside the pcb so we'll select inside the pcb and smd is on top and start it now this is your circuit into the pcb so we can resize your pcb size by just dragging it now we have optimizes the components now i have shown you one more thing that is auto placer uh, auto auto router so that is to optimize these signals so in actions when you go to the auto router you will have three types of auto router that is electra hybrid and counter auto router you can use any of the uh, three options let's say we use hybrid auto router so this will give you some more options that is order of placing route thick signal first route short signal first signal tracks you can define the values of uh, minimum track width minimum track spacing then drill hole diameters okay so these are default values given you can change it according to your circuit then algorithm is there where you can choose the disentangling features uh, where uh, you can remove the disentangling between the signals and optimization is there you can choose it according to your complexity of the circuit okay then route layers you can choose the layers so we have very small circuit so we can just start it and see our signals are auto routed 
so after creating this layout we can see the 3d view of the circuit how it will look like after creating the circuit so you can see in the screen this 3d view that uh, we have made this circuit and seeing is 3d view here this is your uh, connector this is diode this is your resistor so i have shown in the presentation that we can use this uh, tool to identify our signals like in package if you remove it we can see our uh, components one by one like b1 is your diode j1 is your connector r1 is your resistor so in bigger circuit it will help you out in identifying your signals okay so now uh, we have seen its schematic simulation and its layout now the fourth part that is manufacturing we just have seen that uh, how we, we can use it and create it like this so if you want to actually make it you have to go for manufacturing so that is another procedure you have to go to file input output formats production and engraving insulation channels so if you click on this you can find the production type either it is double sided copper top copper bottom and there is options available so the a uh, very important part is output format so uh, when you are manufacturing there are two ways of man manufacturing the pcb first uh, it has uh, the compatibility with some of the cnc or cam machines that is uh, charlie robot colin bus lpkf these are the machines format so if you click on any of the machine and you can generate the output format for this machine and directly you can uh, send them this file format and they will give you the pcb made so that is the industrial process that is used in industries and uh, and there is another option of x gerber for checking so when you want to make pcb in your uh, college setup of uh, pcbs so there are set of uh, eight or 10 machines where we can uh, make the pcb manually for this we need the gerber data or ger file so that output format is created in ger format so let's say uh, we see the copper bottom or let's say double sided so lot of options are given there like traditional drills drilling parameters you can change according to your requirement immersion depth of drills immersion speed copper top copper bottom pcb outline and here you can select the start output here you can select the gr file extension there you have to save it now when we start it the data is created now for uh, seeing that file gr file you have to open one pcb outline
So if you want to open that JR file here, if to go for file, input output formats and data exchange documentation. So in read xgerber and extension file, there is the option of read file. You can click it and open that new.gr file. So this is our final track layout that comes after uh, making a PCB. So for this you have to make the printout and make your uh, PCB manually in your labs. So this is the complete flow of working on the software. So this is an example of uh, analog design. Now I will show you an digital design where there are uh, different procedure of working. So there is a full adder. Here we can see uh, some stim signals are given there. Stim is a digital stimulator. For uh, searching this stim signal, you have to just write it STIM. And you can see in the database, stim digital stimulus is there. There is a stim clock also for giving 0 1 constant out input, then stim hex, stim oct. So you have to select this uh, stim input. So when you open it, this and go to simulation values, edit, and stimulus editor. And when you edit this signal, you can see uh, we have given the input in binary form from 0 to 1 as a text. So for uh, 0 to 4, we have given different inputs. Like at 0, we have given 0. At 1, it is 1. At 2, it is 1. 3, it is 0. And 4, it is 1. So you can understand it in the wave format also. From 0 to 1, it is 0. So signal is low. From 1 to 2, it is 1. So signal is high. From 1 to 2, it is 1. So again signal is high. Then 3 to 4, it is 0. So 3 to 4, the signal is 0. And at 4, it is 1. So afterwards, the 4, it is 1. So we can set the input in zero, zeros and 1s in the text format. Save it. Uh, the second stimulus is having one one zero one one. And the third one is having zero one zero one zero. So this is your uh, stimulus for input and this is your reference symbol for output. So that reference symbol can be found 
just beside this import component we have one other component of options where you will find this reference symbol and you click on this you will find this reference symbol it is ground label sign in sign out so when you click on this sig out and import it you can connect it across the output or you can rename it also as sum or see out now we have imported uh, zor symbols then we have imported 4081 ics and 4071 ics so we have not completely imported these symbols as we are uh, required only uh, three symbols for this so we will get some warnings but we can avoid that so if you simulate it so we will get a mix mode simulation that is digital and analog both and if you want to analyze your result you can choose one by one the signals like da is your first input db is your second input then dc in is your third input so we have given a 0110 and 1101 this is your input and sum is your output and see out so you can choose the input and output and compare the result for this warning uh like i have told you that uh, these ics are not completely imported for uh, if you require the other part of the these ics there is an option of component import rest symbols of component so if you click on this you will get the rest of symbols of the ics now this is for 4071 ic now these two ics are completely imported these are your power uh, symbols and these are other part of these ic so you can connect the power supply to this power symbol and one more power supply to this symbol can give it 5 volt so now when we simulate it we will have a lesser warnings so this is the procedure to import your rest of the components
so this is the procedure of working on digital design and uh, the overall procedure of working on the software so now i am done with my presentation if you have any query you can ask me by writing it in textbooks